I see two uh, emerging trends in pro bono. The first is the effort to reform the multi-jurisdictional practice rules. This is something that is a significant issue for Verizon and for a lot of companies who have attorneys who are moving around and who have their offices in places where they're not barred. Um, up to three-quarters of Verizon's attorneys uh, in our largest offices are operating under licenses, uh, in-house counsel licenses, and are not fully barred in the state. And that's uh, really impinged on our ability to create a full plate of opportunities for people to work on. So we're very interested in working with other companies to try to reform those rules and lift the restrictions on uh, in-house counsel doing pro bono work. The other thing that I see is kind of a, a real emerging issue uh, is the importance of partnerships. Um, we uh, have really created our program around a uh, partnership with our law firm, DLA Piper, and are constantly looking for other uh, partners to work with where we can create uh, a project that individually each of us would not be able to do together. And so one of the things I'm really interested in talking with people about here is the different types of partnerships they have set up and how they have gone about putting them together and what kind of results can be achieved.